friends welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat West Bengal India this is a cataract with grade 4 nuclear sclerosis let us observe this surgery this is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome and now the anterior chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose and then a side port is made on the left side of the main incision. We have some amount of red glow in this case. And now capsulorexis is done with the help of a uterata forceps. A capsular tag, tag is raised with the tip of the uterata and it is guided anticlockwise all around to get an adequate size to rexis of about 5.5 millimeter. Now hydrodissection is done with 27 gauze cannula and BSS. The nucleus is tapped and the nucleus is rotated. Visco is again injected into the anterior chamber and now is the time to introduce the FECO needle into the anterior chamber. The machine being used is Faro's from Oatley, Switzerland. The tip goes beveled down into the anterior chamber. Some superficial cortical lens matter is removed. And now the handpiece is turned to make the bevel up. The tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus. It goes through the substance of the nucleus towards the opposite equator. A nice crack is obtained. The nucleus is rotated 180 degree. It is separated completely. Then on heminucleus is chopped into two fragments come to the other heminucleus it is also chopped into two fragments so we have got four fragments now each fragment is tilted and emulsification is started from the apex of this triangular nuclear fragment This is a grade 4 nuclear sclerosis. Nucleus is quite hard. So I am using about 80% ultrasonic energy. Vacuum is 450 from the very beginning and flow rate is 45 ml per minute. This is a totally unedited recording of this surgery. Now to remove the epinucleus I reduce the vacuum to 250 or 300 and flow rate to 30 and reduce, remove this epinucleus. Most of the cortex also has come out. Some amount of cortex is there between 12 o'clock and 3 o'clock. Visco is again injected to fill up the anterior chamber and the cortex is removed. Some fibers were there at 6 o'clock and 7 o'clock and they are removed. In this case we have only one side port. So I am using a Simco cannula 23 gauze to remove the cortex. And now is the time to implant an intraocular lens. And this is the lens, here it goes. This is a single piece monofocal intraocular lens. The antechamber is maintained by irrigation so we don't have any visco and so the time that 
it takes to remove the visco is saved. Little bit of polishing of the posterior capsule is done and we have almost completed the case in about 6 minutes. The side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma and then a final lavage of the anterior chamber is done. At this time any visco that sticks to the corneal endothelium is removed by flashing a gentle stream of BSS towards the corneal endothelium through the aspirating port. Integrity of all the wounds are checked and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.